welcome to Cayman's River Cottage here in Wilderness at this awesome Airbnb where you even have to park across the river just off the highway and take a little boat. The, the guy that works here called Francis comes and gets you in a rowboat and rows you across with all your stuff. one night in Nice now where we didn't do too much mostly just ate and worked and went to see the head at the Cooney Glen viewpoint so now we're here and it's quite high up so we have sick views here but anyways let me give you a tour so you can see yeah, so you may think I'm outside, but this is it. There's no actual door to the entrance, which is a little scary because as we were coming up, we saw this little brown snake and we all kind of thought it was like a house snake, garden snake, whatever, a harmless one. Turns out it was a night adder, which is super poisonous and it hissed at us. So that was terrifying, but it's gone now. We can relax. There's only cicadas this big upstairs and a beehive above, or a wasp's nest above Dave's head. But other than that, it's sick. Really, it's sick. When you walk in the entrance here, up first to your right, you have the bathroom, which is stunning. It's little and perfect. Toilet, beautiful sink, like rock sink, because this house is also kind of built into the rock. So it's a nice detail here. You have a gorgeous shower that they've done a really good job with it. It's like you're, I guess you are showering outside. And it's also got this like spa floor with like a wooden, mat surrounded by stones this is like a little mini spot it's beautiful and by the way this is all to yourself so you're not sharing any of this with anybody and first door here is the main bedroom double bed a couch little chilling area that's the bedroom here if you're a group of more than two people and you need a second room there's like this it's kind of like a bunk room so there's a set of bunk beds and that's pretty much it so you can fit more people here but we won't be using this now the best part. This place actually has double balconies and they are both amazing. So this is the first one. There's tons of really comfortable seating and this beautiful fire pit in the middle where we are definitely going to make a fire soon, I reckon after filming this tour. You can store all of your wood here to build the fire. You can also buy wood from them here so don't worry about bringing it. Welcome to the kitchen. It is cute and sweet and outdoors just as we like it. It's fully equipped, sink, fridge, double gas burner, coffee, and look at this. It's not a window, it's just open. How beautiful is that? Oh yeah. It's kind of like That's being in a tree house. No yeah, way. it's it's definitely like being in a tree house. A very complex tree house. <laughs> and that's it for this floor. Now the best part, where we saw the giant cicada. So I got up first, so. Welcome to the pièce de résistance, the reason we booked this place, this valley. Awesome. And if you look this way, you can catch my fire. So Yeah, kind of expensive for, for what it is, but really cool, um, really fun. I would like definitely recommend it. If you're doing like a garden route tour and stopping at cool Airbnbs down the garden route, this is one that I think you shouldn't miss in Wilderness, which is really cool. And it's a really unique experience being like one of the only houses up on this other hill. If 
if you watched our last vlog, you saw that we went to Raqqa Wine Farms on our way to Agullis, the southernmost tip of Africa, and this is the bottle we got. It is the Sangiovese, which I think is the Shiraz? No. It was something that had hints of sun-dried tomato in it, and it was delicious, so. Catch my fire. halfway down the river and we're just so paranoid about dropping the camera in the water that we turned back put the camera away and now we are vlogging on the phone so for real this time let's go kayaking okay so when you go kayaking on this river you get to a crossroad where you choose to go left or right you go left to the waterfall and right to just see some beautiful views and mountains oh, look at this bird. I think I hear a waterfall, but the other day we thought we heard a waterfall and Far off. Wow, it's so cool. So we're going down this like main river part and then it kind of gets really skinny and goes between, yeah, like a little canyon. It's amazing. Hi Carl, we miss you. It's been too long. Good morning. We are, we are still here. It is our second morning at Cayman's River Lodge. It's been freezing. So we essentially spent the whole day huddled around the little fire over there, which is the best thing ever. But yeah, so it's our last morning here. We are going to make some delicious coffee and some breakfast and then get on with our day. Okay, so now we're gonna go eat down there by where the fire once was. But it's no longer. I am drooling as I'm eating because this is so good. Mmm, it's so good. 
Like, I don't exaggerate when I say this is the best breakfast ever. I say that every morning. <laughs> and every morning it's true because this is just so damn good. I was about to say, I don't exaggerate. Chloe says that every morning about every breakfast. I love breakfast. Shout it out loud. <laughs> Time to leave Cayman's River Cottage. We've got all of our stuff here. It's quite a hack <laughs> traveling with this much stuff. I mean, we have to now bring this down like four flights of stairs, put it onto a boat, row it across the river. Well, we're not the ones that row, but still, row it across the river, up a set of stairs, into the car. Yeah, so this is our stuff, and that's it for Cayman's River Cottage. See you at the next spot, which is a really sick home built out of containers on the top of it. And then she can get the you have got advantage of the <laughs>